Hey Star Wars fans, Budget Jedi here. Welcome to another diorama attempt video. Uh, this one is a follow-up from my last video where I made or I attempted to make the uh, Emperor's chair here in six inch scale. Uh, this was really meant to accompany my Black Series uh, Emperor from Hasbro. As you know, this figure has a very hard plastic skirt and uh, that makes it very hard for him to sit on this throne. Now, luckily, I know of a seller in the community as well as uh, on eBay by the name of Rick Core 409 I ordered some stuff from them and uh, let's go ahead and open up this package here's what I ordered from Rick Core 409 I ordered actually a an Emperor's robe as well as the skirt and I just wanted to basically give you guys a closer look at the skirt it's made from this really high quality sort of uh, spandexy material that's uh, that's tough you know it won't really rip easily and uh, it's made to look pretty much exactly like the way the Hasbro's uh, skirt was and uh, all I have to do really is take a knife here and cut the skirt off and replace it with this all I have to do is make an incision on the side here on the skirt itself and pull it right apart which reveals uh, the Emperor's lower torso uh, which you can see his legs are very articulated since the skirt itself is very uh, rubbery it's very easy to just push it right up here and just like that I have a super articulated bottom half of the Emperor just to quickly show you guys how this will work all I have to do is put the Emperor in a sitting position And he sits right down nicely on the chair. So anyway, that's what the Emperor looks like with the new skirt. It's really nice in my eyes. Uh, be sure to check out Raycor 409 store. Uh, I'll put the link below. They sell all sorts of robes and, uh, and skirts of different colors for different action figures, especially Star Wars because uh, they're, always, they're also Star Wars fans. Um, so be sure to check them out. I went to Dollar Tree and they had these $1 laundry baskets and they had two types in different colors. One is the one with the bottom uh, holes in the bottom and one is without. Now um, they come in different colors like I said it's like I think red, green or yellow um, and they didn't have any black ones so I took the white ones. In my opinion the patterns that you see on the bottom of this laundry basket here looks like the window in the back of Emperor's Throne. And the, the, one, the holes on the side of this one looks like the side of the window on the Emperor's Throne. So I'm thinking I might be able to crunch, crunch up some parts, uh, these two parts together, and uh, make something. As you know, the Emperor's window is divided up into eight different parts. And what I'm doing now is I'm basically marking the uh, four main parts of the windows. Like so. I don't know if you can see the four pies, one, two, three, four. Then what I'm going to do is cut out the ribs that I don't need. And uh, I'm lucky because uh, this $1 uh, laundry basket is so cheap that you can literally cut through it with your knife. Like so. And the rest of these uh, in-between areas will be completely cut off except that I have to save these ribs. All right, as you can see, I've made some cuts here. I've gotten rid of the um, in-between parts of the main window panes. And um, I didn't really do a great job on cutting it. So uh, now I need to take some sandpaper. I'm thinking that will help just to smooth out some of the areas here. But like I said, I mean, this is cheap plastic. Just eats it right up and should help a lot. And for the in-between parts of the panes, um, I cut the parts out and I'm taking just the horizontal ribs here where it used to be here and I think uh, in the movie it's like kind of in between the two locations so um, I'm basically gonna put it here and super glue it later on like that now I'm thinking I only need the top part of this so of course I'm gonna cut all this off Alright guys, so I have completely cut off this 
top piece from the rest of the laundry basket and uh, just to show you guys I've super glued these extra pieces like I uh, planned I would uh, it's looking alright you know like I said it's not movie accurate but uh, it's pretty good for my uh, purpose and uh, I've sanded the edges a little bit and now I'm gonna take this other piece that I think looks like the side windows um, and if you if you see here it this actually fits right right in here so uh, so that can go along with this row of holes here and my plan is uh, to get rid of this piece in the back completely um, and I guess cut it off right here I don't need any of this extra stuff either here's my window piece just a closer look at it um, I glued all the sides here using uh, my glue gun and I spray painted it so that's what it looks like I kinda used like a metallic silver mixed with some black here's the window that I glued onto a display board you know I got one of those display boards from uh, Walgreens for a dollar cut a hole around it and um, as you can see that the sides of it isn't perfect there's gaps and stuff but that's alright because uh, I got myself a black form board where I made these rings and pieces and the plan is to stick this right here um, on the outside of the window like so and uh, these extra pieces that I made um, you know using simple cuts and protractors and such uh, that's gonna go overlay on that to uh, complete the pattern and for the floor of the display itself I'm gonna use all this uh, leftover foam board from when I made the uh, Emperor's chair I'm gonna cut it so that it fits right in there and I think that's uh, pretty much it all right guys here's my setup got uh, a whole wall a window here which is uh, basically the display board and this is the extra foam board that I had you can see that I spray painted it black and left the rest and uh, cut it in such a way that it fits right here and what I did was um, I took the leftover project board to put in the back here to support um, the starry skies see as you can see I bought two um, sort of a uh, black boards here and uh, splattered some white paint on it which uh, covered enough for the back and the bottom area right there and uh, the reason I did that is because I wanted to be able to see starry skies all around the window uh, to take some cool pictures with it now as you notice uh, the center of this window there's no hole on it because I don't have a Dremel tool you, if you had a Dremel tool I bet you could make a really nice hole here but uh, I don't have that so I just sort of put marker on it and splattered some white and uh, just kind of left it at that but uh, yeah that's pretty much my whole setup this diorama when I made it it was designed for my six inch scale figures but it actually works perfectly with my four inch figures so I wanted to show you guys first that is the power of the force Emperor's chair I think the only uh, Emperor's chair that Hasbro ever made uh, with legacy Palpatine here so as a size reference if I put that over there that's what the display is gonna look like so really this is perfect for a four inch scale figure this is the uh, power of the force back window that uh, Hasbro put out in the early 90s I think so again just for a size reference that's how large my window is here's what the uh, display looks like with my chair that I made the other day um, definitely I can make some really cool scenes with these three figures Luke uh, Emperor and Vader himself and actually I found just the right thing for this display found some lightning pieces from a small figurine that I saw on eBay I'll put the link down below 
if you want to know what that is. Uh, you can easily take it off the figurine and basically attach it to um, Emperor Palpatine's hand. So here's the first scene that I can set up in my dial. Definitely a very memorable scene from Return of the Jedi. You know, you have Vader reporting to the Emperor here who's trying to convince Luke to give in to his hatred. Definitely one of the most uh, dramatic scenes I can remember uh, watching the original trilogies. And uh, that's, that's a nice setup right there because, you know, it captures, brings me back to that scene. And uh, again, the uh, backdrop there is really nice because uh, I can look at it from any angles and see nothing but stars. So there's Luke just basically watching his friends get ambushed. Now this next setup though is probably my favorite. Luke, as you know, decides to grab his weapon and tries to strike down the Emperor. As you can see, I'm using um, stands here to uh, help me pose the figures, but uh, you know, then we got Vader obviously stopping him. That is a very um, iconic moment, I think. Uh, you know, I think in the movie there's an angle sort of like this where the Emperor is laughing. Definitely a very cool uh, moment and uh, I think it'd be better if maybe Vader gets all dynamic, maybe uh, pose his cape flying up maybe or something like that. What do you guys think? Uh, but definitely, that's that's definitely my favorite uh, display right there. And as you can see, when I pull back on the camera here, uh, leaving all this sort of uh, empty and not detailed leaves me up to leaves me able to make this either a four inch or a six inch scale. It's kind of uh, vague. So right now, it totally works for my six inch figures. I think. But uh, definitely let me know your thoughts about what you guys think is the best thing to display here. And last but not least, here is the scene where the Emperor actually teaches Luke a lesson. Very, very cool, climactic scene here. And uh, yeah, very happy to be able to use these uh, lightning bolts. They're very flexible and very cool. And, uh, you know, the, the Black Series figures, the six inch figures, are very poseable. So that's what I'm enjoying about them. And uh, here's Vader in the back watching. Definitely one of the coolest uh, scenes out of any movie. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this scene better than the last one as a display but uh, pretty much that's my completed uh, Emperor's uh, chair and throne display hope you guys liked it um, special thanks of course to uh, eBay seller Rick Hor 409 excuse me uh, for the soft robe for the Emperor as well as uh, other Star Wars robes that I can get from there um, hoping that one day somebody can improve on this design and maybe use insulation foam on the side, make it a lot more, you know, detailed and accurate. I'm, I'm sure that you can do a lot more with, uh, using this setup. And in terms of using the, uh, laundry baskets here, I think that they did their job pretty well. Again, let me know any thoughts, comments, improvements that I can make. But uh, very, very excited to be enjoying this display for the time being. As usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next video.